your acting chops seem to continue to grow so much. I wonder, though, about the next role you're going to take, because I've seen you play uh, a prostitute, I've seen you play a prisoner, and I've seen you play someone... Abused, uh, someone kidnapped abused, that guy. Kidnapped. No, I know. So, I'm noticing a pattern Her. here. Um, yeah. is, is, are you, are you actively... It's called stereotyping. I was Hollywood. Gonna, I was going to say, is, is this part of, like, them putting you in a box, or do you deliberately like to find roles that are sort of challenging and dangerous and speak to these issues? Um, well, you know, I have a lot of friends that are actors. Um, I've definitely been stereotyped, typecast, put in a box, what have you know. <laughs> you, the box. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's one of those things where, like, in my in my 20s, I used to try to fight against that ser stereotype and be like, but I, I feel like I'm kind of cute. How come I never get to read for the pretty girl? Mm. And Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, in, in Hollywood eyes, I'm not that girl. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Then I realized, <laughs> then I realized, um, then, then I finally came to realize that I get to play, like, uh, very... Uh, roles with, with a lot of depth. Yeah. Just because you're troubled or you're a prostitute doesn't mean that you're not a, um, someone that's been through stuff. You're not wise and you're not, you know, have common sense and you're not you're self aware. I like the roles I play. I think it's fun. But I did make a promise that I'm tired of dying in movies. <laughs> no more death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I ain't trying to die. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click here for more videos. And make sure to catch new episodes Friday at 9 p.m. on HuffingtonPost.com.